out. What the hell? What did you just do? Well, I pulled it down so you didn't hit your head. And then the whole ceiling came down. And Happy New Year to everybody. Although actually, right now, it is New Year's Eve. We are filming this on New Year's Eve. And me and Ant are on our way to our new property in Galicia. And we're gonna spend our first night there tonight and wake up tomorrow, New Year's Day, in Galicia. We're hoping to get there before dark because it, we're pushing it. It gets dark at 6 p.m. And what is it now? Half past three, something like that. Half past three. Three. and we're about halfway there so that means and we've got about an hour and a half to go but the drive is absolutely sensational we love the drive it's all the way along the coast the northern Cantabrian coast um, and then we head inland just before just as we come into Galicia so uh, that makes the journey a total pleasure and we've got dogs with us and we've got some overnight camping stuff with us and we've got some vino and we're going to spend New Year's Eve chilling out at Mushroom Manor. So, Ant, what do you think about Mushroom Manor? I love it! <laughs> <laughs> Mushroom Manor is amazing. So many projects, so much potential. Loads of flat land to walk the doggies, campsites. We've got so many plans that we're going to fill you in on all of them and you can follow along the way as we go through it all. Oh, Galician adventure. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be actually opening the door with our keys to the place when we get there today. So it's a really big moment and very happy to be sharing it with you guys. Okay, so we're now actually in Galicia. It's so beautiful. And if you can see, I don't know what scenery you can, it's not very easy to film scenery from a car, but all these beautiful pine forests that stretch on to the open horizons. <laughs> anyway, um, this stretch of the road is quite interesting, isn't it, Ant? It is. What? Why is that, Roger? Well, why didn't you explain to YouTube <laughs> about the stretch of the road? Sure. Along this part of the Galician Highway, there is a mysterious fog, a mysterious <laughs> mist. The very first time we drove here to have a look at the, the property, we hit a mysterious mist. Um, and along with it came a load of flashing signs and warnings and it turns out to be sea fog. Um, and you cannot see more than 10, 20 feet from the end of your bonnet. Uh, it's really thick really dangerous hence all the signs and flashing lights uh, so we visited the house and it was amazing we visited lugo with your mum weren't we with my mum uh, in my van um, and on the return <laughs> journey coming back through the fog um, we had a, an accident um, with another car because you can't see anything uh, I wasn't going very fast, I was stuck behind a truck and as I'd gone to pull out this car, just we just crashed into each other. Uh, it's a really, really super dangerous bit of road. Um, so yeah, I'm sure there has been many accidents yeah. in this mysterious, dangerous Galician fog. Yeah.
The next morning now, New Year's Day. Happy, Happy New Year! Year. <laughs> Happy New Year! Yeah. New Year's Eve, on the floor, playing board games in an empty house. Well, we walked in and there was a flood in the kitchen. That's right. There was Dodgy the, electrics. the electrics kept going out. The dog shat on the floor. <laughs> we had a cold night. <laughs> it was an eventful New Year's Eve. It was. You know, many years ago, we out partying last <laughs> night. We were squatters. Yeah. I remember when my head hit the pillow, I was like, I think it might be midnight. <laughs> um, no, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, so it was, it was literally like at midnight, it was head hitting the pillow. So, um, but, new, that, but the whole point was, we're gonna wake up on New Year's Day in the new house. So here we are. And we had a visitor this morning, didn't we? We did. So I stood here. We've seen a guy walk past the window. <laughs> Who's? No one knows we're here. I hope well, there's no neighbours for kilometres away. Um, but it was the father of the son who inherited it, and he came, arrived to introduce himself, say hello, show us where the spring was, which is over the road and up the hill, uh, in a field somewhere. Show us the filter for it. Show us all the different bits and tell us at the house, um, gave us the keys. Uh, he was really nice. Um, Had lots of stories, didn't he? Lots of stories, loves Netflix. <laughs> uh, was telling us about films, told us about a film on Netflix called Asbestos. No, Asbestas. Asbestas, okay. yeah. Asbestas. It's Gallego. Yeah, Galicia. which is a Galician film about an English couple Moved to Galicia, bought a place. I think they're French or Belgian or something. I, I anyway, foreigners. foreigners. Foreigners bought a place in Galicia, moved in, and then scary movie, and they died. <laughs> based but on it, a true story. Based on a true story. <laughs> so, so hopefully, yeah. no new films are going to happen here. He was like, "It's not like asbestos around here." <laughs> yeah, but that's hopefully so. Hopefully, that's the case. But he was nice. He was here for a couple of hours. Um, yeah. And now we're just busy exploring, checking everything out. Really cool. Yeah, it's really some, cool. Some outbuildings to go and explore. So we do have an actual functioning shower room and toilet with hot water. Uh, so that's that's good. Uh, obviously, there's no door. That you have to put a door in, and we've got a water heater. Water door's heater. Here. That's right. The doors, doors doors are over there. <laughs> yeah, ready to go. And all this alcohol was left here by the previous owners. Amazing. And this is the kitchen. So we've got a lot of work to do here. A lot, a lot of work. And uh, there's these ancient hams that are hanging up in the corner. So even as a carnivore, I'm not really sure I want to go for them. Kitchen currently has no water because when you turn the water on, the floor leaks from underneath. There's clearly a pipe underneath the floor that has burst and the water is coming up through the floor. So no water in the kitchen. Turn the water off. And there's this interesting stove arrangement where the flue for this chimney is actually... I don't know if the camera will show it, but it's actually beneath the table um, in the floor. So we're going to redo this entire kitchen, obviously, clean it up. It's completely blackened. We don't know if there's been a fire here. Jonas left his bank card as well, so we'll go straight to Mercadona and do some Christmas shopping. <laughs> New Year's shopping. <laughs> and should we go upstairs and give it a tour? Yeah. So there's also an upstairs. Okay. So... Okay, it's obviously in need of a complete renovation. This is what we call Middle Earth. 
It's the little room between the two big bedrooms. This door leads out into the back garden, which is a upper level. So you can re you can walk into the house at the back on the upper level and at the front from the lower level, which I love. And yeah, the roof needs doing, the floors need doing. Ant shouldn't actually be walking on this floor. It's not safe. Okay, the master suite. Mm, lovely. <laughs> Look at these lovely beams. Well, not so lovely, but will be. Will be lovely. Yeah. We're gonna have an ensuite bathroom. Right, We've got it all planned. Knock through that wall. There's a, a room on the other side, so we'll knock through and have that as an amazing ensuite. Yeah. And then there's another bedroom. It's actually a really big house, um, but obviously a lot of work to be done ahead of us. But how much fun it's going to be, how much stress, I don't know. <laughs> oh, the dog's stuck outside. Mm. All these outbuildings. Yeah, we're going to go and explore that in a minute. There's a ruin, some buildings over there, all sealed up. I've not even looked inside yet. Well, we don't actually own some of these outbuildings. We, there's like one or two that we do own, and then the rest are an old village that has been abandoned, basically. Abandoned village. Yeah. So we can certainly clean, clean up the ruins and maybe... Oh, it's ant! What the hell? Hello? That was sissy. What did you just do? Well, I pulled it down so you didn't hit your head. And then the whole ceiling came down. <laughs> okay. Should we try and get into the garden? I tried. I don't know if it comes forward or back. It looks like it comes back. Yeah. I'm sure he opened it one time when we were here. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, dear. Maybe. Oh. We have plans for that to be the ensuite bathroom. That's going to be a fantastic ensuite. I actually just realised it goes down. Okay. So, I don't know what it... to do there. And we... oh, no. There's an outbuilding at the back. That's where we're going to have the chickens in the short term and in the long term it's going to be a cinema room called the snug we've got it all planned got it all planned this is going to be the jungle is it the jungle this is the jungle it, which is going to be like a glass roofed walk oh but let's not go into all the plans there's just so many plans we've been dreaming about this place for five months and now we're really here The chimney. Wow, that's a fantastic tree. Oh my god, KFC! <laughs> oh, it's made me so hungry all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the burger place, Reggie. Yeah. Get a burger. Are you gonna get a smash burger? I might get a smash burger. Alright, I think I'm gonna get a smash burger. Okay, well, we're on our way back now to Asturias. We, we managed one night at Mushroom Manor, but we decided to go back to the village house tonight. We had a lovely New Year's Day. Ant's really tired. Um, I might have to do a bit of the driving later. So we were quite lucky though, weren't we, Ant? We found, uh, we went into Lugo. I wanted to do a whole vlog in Lugo, never mind. Everywhere was closed, but we managed to find a lovely burger bar open and we got a lovely New Year's Day meal and then we got a coffee and now we're on our way back and we're super tired. So that's that. So we had a really great new year and that's we're gonna we've started how we mean to go on and so we couldn't be more excited and yeah so now we're just going back to Asturias and we're gonna have a good night's sleep tonight in a proper bed. 
and that will be that. Okay. Mushroom mana! Mushroom mana! Bye! <laughs>